Hello out there in video land, it's me again, lazy video gamer. And as you know, I'm a huge fan of the Sega Mega CD, especially for Dune. But I'm too lazy to talk about this game. Instead, I show you this. I'm just a lazy video gamer. Even too lazy to make fancy thumbnails. So, in this week's episode of Lazy Video Gamer Show, I'll show you one game. It's also from Sega, I mentioned that. And it's one of my absolute favorites. Unfortunately, it doesn't run on the Polymega in the PAL version. And that's what I'll take a look with you right now. For the Polymega freaks out there, the Japanese version works fine. But now I want to play with you Manx TT Superbike or in the PAL version on original hardware with the original analog controller. Sega Manx TT Superbike hit the arcade in 1995 and were later converted to the Sentry. It is, if you want, a spiritual sequel to Sega Rally. You see that in the graphic engine and in the style of gameplay. First, we take a look at the arcade world. We collect the board. Two tracks. We collect the game or something. Many gamers complain about it the lack of courses. It was always concentrated as an arcade game for a quick ride on the bike and take your money out of the pocket. If you had the luck back in the day and saw a nice to be super bad in your case, and you try off the game, you will realize very quick that more than two, three rounds are not that easy to play off this fight. We were sitting on a heavy, but of course, for the feeling, it was back then and still today amazing. I highly recommend to play this game in the first person, because as you can see, the camera. Turns like you turning. The control has the same angle, and that brings a little bit more realistic to the game. Now. I want to take a ride on the Saturn exclusive play mode. We select the bike. You have more bikes to choose from, and I did something with the tracks. In the Saturn version we of the game, the Get ready, wait. you ride wait. all four tracks, one of the other. As you can see, first the beginner track with amazing little details in the graphics, like the blending effect when you pump off the tumble. With the graphics, and the 
thrilling sound and music and how I've arrived. Also a little fun fact is that the game actual was programmed by Sega for the arcade, but for the second it was reprogrammed from, believe it or not, Psygnosis. And you know what that means. After a loading screen, yeah, ready, right ready. now, right on the, the expert course. If I'll be honest, when I did a little bit of research uh, what the prices are for this game, I was a little bit shocked because, in my opinion, it's a fantastic game, it's a great game, I love it. But, if you don't want an absolute perfect copy of the US version or the Japanese version, they are the most expensive. You get this game for 50, 15 bucks plus shipping. So, in the price range, from 30 to 50 bucks, complete in box, you have a fantastic game. Maybe something to do as well. So I would call this game a not expensive treasure. When you start playing yeah, the right. first track, right. of course you see right. the similarities between the first and the third track. But in fact it has a very different feel when you raise the track backward and mirror. So it feels like a complete new track. And as you know, Sega Rally has four tracks and here now you also got kind of four tracks yes it's true the game has not that much force but I always more fun with this game than I had in Hang On GP 95 Bone shaking hard from the difficulty level. It's easy to learn how to master. What a great fun. And so I will see you a cool week. See you next time. And don't forget, the game is never over. I'm just a lazy video gamer. To get an own theme song. Time is up, and you did finish.